push the other coral in. There are many potential obstacles to restoring coral reefs, as Diego Lerman and his team learned after Hurricane Irma hit Florida in 2017. It was a major setback. We, we lost 90% of all of the corals that we had been growing for a decade. Wow. It was a huge loss, but we also rebuilt very quickly. There's not much anyone can do about a major hurricane, but perhaps the biggest criticism of restoring reefs or creating hybrid ones is that it's not possible to do this on the scale that's needed. Thank you. You got it, man. There are some people who think this is like spitting into the ocean, that this is not going to be enough to counteract climate change. We get that all the time. Um, but if we don't address this challenge in terms of maintaining coral resilience in the meantime while we deal with some of these larger societal problems, we won't have any coral reefs left by the time we get this other problem under control. Without a meaningful reduction of carbon gases to address climate change, will you be able to rescue the reefs? Absolutely not. The mantra is we are buying time. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change predicts that with a, a two degrees Celsius increase in warming, 99% of the world's coral reefs could be irreversibly lost in the next 30 years. I mean, that's a pretty dire assessment. That's right. So coral reefs are on their way to becoming probably the first global ecosystem that we'll lose as a result of climate change. So, you know, we, we have no time to lose.